Pastos Biology. Topics from the Study Guide. Now we come to a part of the cell unit that is critically important, so you have to pay particular attention to this. This is a look at passive transport processes across a membrane. Passive transport processes include diffusion, dialysis, osmosis, and facilitated diffusion on the next page. We're looking at page 3.20. Now, be careful with these terms. Diffusion is the movement of particles. Many textbooks define diffusion as the movement of particles until they become evenly distributed. I don't like that definition because it sounds like molecules, particles, stop moving once they're evenly distributed. They don't. They keep moving. Let's keep it simple. Diffusion is the movement of particles. Now, we can add something to that. It's the movement of particles with a tendency to become evenly distributed but they keep moving. Here's an illustration of diffusion using a U-shaped container. Now this U-shaped container is something you'll see a lot of. I use it a lot. Here's the container. It has a right side and a left side. We fill it with a solution. The movement of water molecules or solute molecules is diffusion. This is figure 3.18. Now, what if we were to place a membrane in that container, separating the left and right half, a selectively permeable membrane? Now remember, this is a membrane that allows some particles to cross, but prevents others from crossing. In fact, think of it as having holes in it. Big particles can't cross, small ones can. Now, obviously, it's much more, important, uh, much more complicated than that. Dialysis is the diffusion of solute through a membrane. So, we look at figure 3.19. We, we place the membrane in the container, separating it into a left and right half. If solute particles can cross the membrane by diffusion, what's it called? dialysis. The third important example is osmosis. And again, let's keep it simple. Osmosis is the diffusion of water through a membrane. Let's once again look at the U-shaped container. And in this case, water is allowed to cross from one side to the other. What do we call the diffusion of water through a membrane? osmosis. So you see, it's pretty simple. Now, if we were to put transport proteins, carriers, in the membrane, and dialysis occurred with the carrier protein, we would call that facilitated diffusion.